still here an hour later and it's ready. Okay, let's go. It's the morning after arriving and yes, I'm not showered or anything yet, but feels good. My sister did such a great job for us. Um, you know, unpacking some of our barrels, buying our furniture, setting our internet up, and um, getting our gas sorted. The list really goes on. So now she bought us some pancake mix ingredients, so I'm going to make pancakes um, and then we'll go to the shop. which you can see in the background I love my son's hair so much it has red in it and then when he goes in the sun it can go blonde my gran had red hair so he has this, like tinge of red at the top we arrived we actually I thought okay it's opening at 8 let's arrive at 8 20 it's gonna be open the lights are on fans are on that's where it starts and ends we basically need to wait. So the guy that we came across said that it's open, but the workers aren't here yet. So I'm like, well, I think he's like a caretaker or something. One hour later. Still here an hour later and it's ready. Okay, let's go. Breaking the sun. Look at that like unconstructed building in the background. <sighs> it's like yes, might be slightly stressed by all the different things going on, but at least we can do it in the sun. This is actually the life. Why well, would I be in the cold when I could be in the sun? So so nice. Just waiting for um, the nanny to come, and then we can go and get our SIM cards. And what else have we got on our list? So basically we need to get our SIM cards. I want to get a water cooler so that I'm not using like plastic bottles. Here we are. The plan was for kids to stay at home, but you know, the plans don't always work out that way. So we are going to try and get some SIM cards, register SIM cards, because if you don't already know, mobile money, Momo, as it's called, is used as a currency in a lot of ways here. You know, some people just have a Momo account to pay for things. So we need to register with our ID and get a SIM card that we can use as a mobile money account, but also just so we can actually have a, a number, because right now I've not got a number. I've got my UK SIM in and I've just got it on airplane mode. So that is pretty essential. So here goes. Caught a quick nap went somewhere that looked like the MTN office, but no, it was customer services. Went to the next MTN office. The queue was ridiculous. I mean, I knew that it was a task that was going to take some time, and that's why I'd hoped that my daughter would have stayed at home, but I guess not. So we didn't go to that one. So I'm going to try one other MTN office, and if not, I'm going to go first thing before it opens tomorrow morning and hope that um, there's nobody there, but I'm sure that a lot of people have the same idea, so we'll have to check it out. But let's see if this one is available. Mission complete. I don't know how that long that took in total. An hour? Yeah. Maybe it took about an hour, but we actually, for we didn't forget our passports. Let me check that I've got our did you take your driving license? No, I've got yours. Um, 
we took our like British driving licenses. That wasn't acceptable. Had to show a picture of my passport, but bring your passport. Um, we couldn't open our Momo account, so our mobile money account, because we didn't have our passport, so I'm gonna have to be going back there to open the Momo. minutes and guess what happened the electricity went out we are off to get electricity i haven't been before so this will be my first time finding out where it is and um yeah so that's one thing that you have to do yourself whereas obviously before we just paid monthly for our, for our electricity whereas here you have to go and top it up with a card i know that some people actually have that in other places as well so for our work we definitely need to be on top of it and at home there's a box and you can see how much electricity you've got left in cds so that you know when it's running low all right let's go and find the electricity vendor <laughs> So I just had to go and take out some cash. This is about ten dollars. I think actually this is probably ten dollars. Yeah, like I actually just got out of here and now uh, there's some sort of flooding going on. Anyway, they're now telling us that we have to put it on the meter before we can top it up. But last time we didn't put it on the meter. Sean stuck. Oh my god. Here I am driving. And I had to just get over the fear of driving, to be honest. This is my second time driving. And a fun fact, I actually learnt to drive in Ghana, so, but I was young then, I was like 17, and I was much more carefree. <laughs> for this sort of reason and somehow I happen to be right at the back. It's quite comfortable to be honest. We have quite a lot of leg room. We are going to Sankofa Beach. We went there in December when we were staying at that amazing house on the hill in Coco Bite. Um, got all our beach, beach stuff. That's one of the reasons we moved because I wanted more of an outside living experience at the beach. <laughs> at Kokorobite, there's San Kofa in the background. They have really nice accommodation that you can stay in. And um, there's like a big green space, bar, they serve food. So we ordered our, first, our food as soon as we arrived because I've heard that it could take a long time. Ah! Wow. Didn't really mean to be submerged in the water. And I don't want to lose my sandals.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my first weekly vlog of our first week in Ghana. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and press the bell so you're notified every time I make an upload. Have a nice day.